Clone Trooper Battle Bikes, two different TIE Fighter builds and some awesome dioramas. 2023 is really shaping up to be a fantastic year for LEGO Star Wars. Now coming off the back of multiple good years now, LEGO Star Wars really is flying high and I think 2023 is going to be another iteration of that. So today we're going to go over all of the sets that are going to be rumoured and leaked to be coming out at the start of 2023. So these come over the span of five months between January and May of 2023 and these of course are just leaks and rumours so far. Most of them are coming from credible sources, however you obviously have to take these with a pinch of salt. They're not guaranteed until LEGO says anything. So moving straight into the first and smallest set on the list, we start with some boring ones, but we get into some absolute crackers by the end. There's some really cool new news about these awesome sets, so stay tuned till the end to see everything that we're going to be expecting by the start of 2022. But moving into the first set, we have set number 75334, the Slave 1 Microfighter. I mean, it should be, I guess, technically referred to as the Boba Fett Starship Microfighter, but it doesn't have the same ring to it. We all know it's the Slave 1. Of course, this will be coming with a Boba Fett minifigure. Presumably this is going to be the same one that we've been getting in previous sets based on the Book of Boba Fett. And the vehicle will be made up of only 85 pieces, of course being a microfighter this is going to be small and it'll be retailing for $9.99 and releasing on January 1st. Now microfighters are something I don't care about but something I really do care about is of course the battle packs. Now this is going to be an absolute wild battle pack. Now I don't really know why they've chosen this but set number 75345 is going to be another 501st battle pack. Yes I know you can already see the comments saying 501st Legion set wasn't a 501st battle pack. Yes I know that wasn't strictly a battle pack and this one is but this is the 501st specialist battle pack and we'll be coming with 119 pieces for 19.99 US dollars and again releasing on January 1st. Now of course we've known the news about this one for a while. We'll be coming with four clones, two heavy troopers, one specialist and one officer. Now this will be a cool little set. I, I'm not exactly sure these are obviously going to come with the really horrible holes in the helmets that we saw in the recent 212 Troopers. But, I mean, yeah, it's going to be an interesting one. I don't think anyone asked for this one. I think LEGO just really wanted to capitalise on the 501st hype. They didn't really realise that we sort of want different legions and stuff like that. But I guess this will be cool and I'll probably buy one or two of this set. Only battle pack of the year, sadly. We won't be going back to the days where we had multiple battle packs to go against each other. Most of these will be based on the 501st print with a couple of different variants, different helmet accessories and things like that. We only recently found out about set number 7, 5, 3, 4, six very very recently but this is going to be the Mandalorian snub fighter now this will have 285 pieces and will retail for $34.99 and be released in May now the term snub fighter refers to not just one specific fighter in Star Wars but it refers to a giant variety of smaller ships this includes x-wings z95 headhunters and anything small like that that has a hyperdrive and is like nimble and agile and things like that so this isn't exactly going to be the specific name of the one fighter but this is just the description that we've gotten from the leak so far obviously we're gonna have to stay tuned and see exactly what this is going to be. Once Mandalorian Season 3 comes out, we'll probably get a better view of what this could possibly be. No news on minifigs or anything for this set, but definitely stay tuned to the channel. Hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date when we do find out more news about this. Now, a personal favourite of mine is the next set up on the list, and that is set number 75347, the TIE Bomber. Now, it's been years since we've got any TIE variants apart from just the regular bog standard TIE Fighter. And this will have 625 pieces and retail for $64.99, which I think is a pretty good price to piece ratio right there. Now, this is another January release right here, and we'll be coming with, I think, four minifigs so far we're not exactly sure on what's going to be coming out in this we will have a new Darth Vader hopefully he'll come with the arm printing I would have thought he would and be similar to the ones we've seen in previous sets of the last couple of years we're also of course going to get a TIE pilot I mean that goes without saying and a gunk droid apparently but the interesting thing in this set is going to be a Ray Sloan I believe her name is now I'm not personally familiar with her apparently she showed up in multiple books as well as Star Wars Squadrons I definitely don't know who she is if you know let me know in the comments how cool she is or anything like that but it's good to get a new officer and if she's going to come in that white outfit I would really love to see that now sticking with the TIE Fighter theme set number 75348. It's going to be the Mandalorian Fang Fighter versus TIE Interceptor. Yes, you heard that right. We're getting a TIE Interceptor finally. I can't wait to get into more details on this one in just a second. But this will come with 957 pieces and will retail for $99.99 and again be releasing in May. Now this will be based off of, once again, Mandalorian Season 3. We'll see how these two ships play a better role once the season does come out. But I'm definitely intrigued to see how this set plays out. I really love different TIE variants. I think they're so, so awesome. I personally think this is going to be a very similar set to the previous TIE Fighter that we've gotten. You can see on screen right now, I'm showing you a picture of one that was redesigned by Hachiroku. He redesigned sets and stuff like that. And this one is in a very similar design. I think it will be a very similar thing to this one right here, uh, sort of scaled down. I mean, it's gonna be looking at about 500 pieces or so, 450 pieces per ship. Now, of course, the Fang Fighter makes up the other half of the set, and this will be interesting as well. Obviously, we've had uh, the Mandalorian Starfighter very recently, much bigger set, definitely a few more pieces in that one than we do 
have in this one here probably, but it'll be interesting to see how this goes, and I think they're going to go more with the white and blue colour scheme. Any fig wise, I think this is obviously going to come with the Mandalorian. It's a shame because he's a really cool fig, but he's just basically in every set. Hopefully he's going to come with the face print that we saw in Mando Starfighter this year. I think the other mini fig is going to be Bo-Katan probably, as she's going to probably play a big role in Mando Season 3, as well as I can guess there's going to be a Grogu in there potentially, and I think the TIE Pilot is obviously going to reappear in this one right here as well. Now from multiple sets I've been looking forward to, to a couple of sets that I'm definitely not looking forward to, it's time to move on to the helmets now. I mean, I'm not a big collector of the helmets. If you are, that's cool. But personally, I don't see a big hype around them. Even when they are some of my favourite characters like Phase 2 Rex, whose helmet will be appearing in set number 75349. Now, this is, yes, yeah, slightly underwhelming. It's interesting that they're dabbling into the prequel era. And again, uh, it's really cool to see for those helmet collectors. But for me, I'm not that interested in this one. However, it will have 854 pieces for only $69.99. So, good price per piece. And will be releasing in March of 2020. So, there's a couple of different release dates. It's looking like Jack. January, March and May are when the main bulk of the Star Wars sets are going to be coming out. Speaking of which, 75350 is the Commander Cody Phase 1 helmet. So now unlike Rex, we're not getting the later sort of Clone Wars style helmet. We're getting the early Clone Wars helmet with Cody right here. And this is going to be interesting. I'm actually probably more interested in this one. I think this will translate slightly better into the helmet form potentially. But it'll be interesting to see how LEGO tackles it with the different techniques they do. But once again, not a big fan. This will have 766 pieces and retail again at 469.99 at the start of March. Once again, there is another helmet that's actually gonna be on the list, which we're gonna to get to later in the list as we get to the less set in stone leaks and stuff like that. Now, most of these ones that I've mentioned already are pretty set in stone. However, we have a few things that we know very small amounts about these sets that are coming up later in the list. So we're gonna to get to those a bit later on. But on something I do really like, and that is the dioramas next. 75352 is gonna be the Death Star 2 throne room battle. Obviously we've had this in multiple sets in the past, uh, basically one play set and then a remake recently as well. I never picked up either of those so this could be cool and it's interesting how they're going to create this in a more accurate and more adult style. This is the $100 diorama with 807 pieces. This is probably going to come with a similar minifig selection to those two play sets so we're probably going to get some royal guards, probably going to get Luke, Vader and Palpatine so I'd say probably about five minifigs in this set. Like I said I'm interested to see how they tackle this. I think this will be a pickup for me, probably going to be waiting until it goes on sale. Now the other diorama is probably going to be a day one purchase and that is set number 75353, the Endor Speeder Bike Chase. Now this has 200 less pieces coming in around 608 pieces for $79.99 and again both of these are going to be releasing in that sort of final May wave that we're going to be getting in the early LEGO Star Wars sets. Now many things are still up in the air for this one but I'm presuming it's going to come with an Ewok, possibly a Scout Trooper as well as Luke and Leia in their Endor sort of get up but I could be wrong we could potentially get two Scout Troopers and then Luke and Leia or some sort of configuration of that. I presume four to five minifigs in this set would be something that would be pretty cool. I hope to see some of those big redwood trees, at least the sort of bottom section of them. I don't exactly know how they're going to do this. We might potentially see one of the speeders being completely obliterated. I'd like to see that in sort of smashing against the tree and the scout trooper getting thrown off to the side. I think that'd be pretty awesome. But um, yeah, this is a day one purchase for me. I think this is going to have lots of reddish brown, lots of plant pieces, which is great to see, and some cool techniques to make up that end of foliage. Let me know which of those two you're more hyped for in the comment section down below. Another there is a rumored third diorama set which could be set number 75351 but we don't exactly know yet and this is potentially going to be a Jabba's throne room sort of diorama. Now this could be something that's going to link to potential UCS sets later in the year or other sets later in the year but we don't really know too much about this one. I presume we're going to get a molded Jabba if we do get this of course on his sort of throne similar to what we saw in Boba Fett's palace earlier this year. Um, I wasn't a big fan of that set but I think this could be a much better suited to a diorama set so this could be a cool one and again this will be around the hundred dollar price range. There's no suggestion of any part count yet or even when this is going to be released. We really don't have much information on this one apart from just the name of the set so this one doesn't even have a set number allocated to it but I presume it's going to be that 351 but um, yeah not much to say about this one but it would be really cool and I definitely would pick that up because Jabba is definitely someone who has skyrocketed in price on the aftermarket and is overdue for Lego Star Wars. Now I mentioned earlier there's another helmet set now this one doesn't have a name or anything to it but it could be set number 75356 again for $69.99. Obviously we don't know much about this one at all don't even know what helmet it could be but obviously there was the 8080 pilot rumor last year which kind of got thrown out so potentially that's coming back this year or otherwise they sort of maybe have a list of three that they narrow down to two or four that they narrow down to three in this year's case potentially but um, yeah it'll be interesting to see what happens with this one and I'm definitely going to stay tuned to pick apart that news as and when we do get it. Now some of the helmets brick heads are something that I'm not really a huge fan of but we're going to be getting a couple this year in the form of a five pack based on Endor so I presume we're going to get sort of like Luke, Leia, Han, Chewie and possibly an R2 or a scout trooper or something along those lines maybe an Ewok I presume would be actually 
a more suitable suggestion. Don't know too much about this one yet, but it's gonna be retailing for around $40 and coming out around January as well. So gonna be finding out about that one very soon, probably if that is a legitimate leak. And the other brickhead is a Tuscan Raider. Not sure why they didn't bring this one out alongside the Book of Boba Fett, but um, yeah, it's gonna be interesting. I think Tuscan Raiders could translate well to brickhead form. But with this one, we don't have any sort of piece count or anything about the release date either. Now the final set on the list is of course the May 4th UCS set, obviously releasing on May 1st. Now every year we've had a pretty big one. They're not the big, big ones that we sort of see later on towards the year, but they're the ones that come out around $200. This one actually has gone up to $239.99. We don't have any news as to what this could be, but it is gonna be set number 75355. And of course, we'll be coming with a gift with purchase. Now, we saw Soybrick Studios interview a couple of the designers about gift with purchases and stuff like that, and whether we're gonna be getting more with exclusive minifigs. And they said that's something that they're definitely gonna be interested in. So I could see another sort of Aunt Brew homestead sort of thing coming out with uh, this sort of one right here, and probably gonna be linking up well to that one. Now, when it comes to actually what this could be, we don't know anything about that yet, but I would like to see some sort of vehicle from the Clone Wars. Maybe that's something that's more tailored and more suited to slightly larger sets later in the year, but uh, yeah, we don't really know. And of course, this is a UCS set, not an MBS set, so we're not gonna get any sort of Ewok village or anything like that, but it could be still an awesome one. And I'm actually really hopeful this could be a cool set, but usually these are sort of like the oversized uh, Luke's Land Speeder style set or an X-Wing style set, stuff like that. So I think that's the sort of thing we're gonna get. Potentially could be a remake of the B-Wing that we saw in the past. Now, like I said at the start, of course, these rumors are not set in stone. A lot of these came from a person called Promo Bricks, who pretty much has become the best Lego leaker, the most reliable Lego leaker. So a lot of this stuff is set in stone. However, a few things are still up for debate. A few things could still come in and a few things could still go out. So definitely stay tuned with notifications on the channel here so you can stay up to date as to what lego news is coming out in the near future i can't wait to find out more about these sets i'm definitely intrigued by the 501st battle pack but most hopeful for the two tie fighter sets i think they could be fantastic i'm excited let me know if you're excited in the comment section down below i'd love to hear your feedback on all of these different leaks i hope you guys have a great day and i hope you enjoyed this video if you did make sure to leave a like and i'll see you next time goodbye